Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode on this YouTube channel. And today I'm going to install an SD card reader into my vintage keyboard. And the reason why you might consider to do that too is that it's a significant update of uh, speed and data storage capacity compared to the USB uh, emulator which I installed in a previous episode. So, well, let's have a look. Okay, the first thing you'll need here is the Yamaha SCSI interface. It's called ASIB1 and uh, you can get it on eBay for around 100 bucks sometimes. As you can see, it's got an external and an internal SCSI connector and um, a power cord. And uh, yeah, let's install it in the EX5. Installing this interface is straightforward. Just turn your EX5 around, remove the small lid from the bottom, and there's a compartment where you can install the interface. Remove the small lid from the back of the EX5. And then fix your interface with the screws provided. Connect the SCSI cable to your interface ASIB1 and also to the main board of your EX5 and then connect the power cable and that's it. Okay, and the second thing you need is a small board called SCSI to SD. You can get it from vendors on the internet. I got mine from a company named Amiga Kit and it's around 70 euros. And um, it's basically a board with an SD card slot on one side and uh, the SCSI connector on the other side and there's also a four pin power connector. And uh, all you need to do is insert your SD card and connect the SCSI cable. You don't need to connect the 4-pin power connector because the EX5 will provide power over the SCSI cable. I protected my board with some cling film and um, just tossed it into the EX5 and closed the lid. And um, well, that's basically all you need to do. Now let's turn on our keyboard and make some benchmarks or yeah, speed comparisons. Okay, and here is the EX5. I'm pressing the disk button now and then load data. And I'm going to load a wave uh, which uh, contains samples. And um, I'm going to load it at first from the USB floppy drive emulator. And in the second run, I will load it from the SCSI disk or the SD card. And uh, yeah, first here's the USB floppy. You can see the results on the screen. And second one is the SCSI SD card. And here are the results. As you can see, um, the SD card is slightly faster here. Um, the larger the file is, of course, the greater the difference gets. And well, that's it for today. What do you think? Is it mandatory to buy this SD card reader or can you skip it? I'd like to know what you think. Please write it in the comments if you have the time. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.